Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Game of Thrones multiplayer with myself, Arumba, and Northern Lion. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Hello there. Uh, well, last episode was hell of an eventful one. Arumba yeah. is, you know, it's it's fitting that Arumba is sitting on the <laughs> Iron Throne. Um, and now he owns quite a lot of Westeros, and we are going to continue from here, I believe. Are we ready? Yes. Yeah. Good to go. On pause when you want. Oh, here Whoa, we go. Lord Paramount. Gee, oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> okay, okay, pause. Pause momentarily. Yeah. Right. This is the culmination of the Tower of Joy event. Okay. Howland Reed has prevailed against Gerald Hightower. Sure. Theo Wool has prevailed against Arthur Dane. Mark Riswell has been slain by Arthur Dane. Who is Arthur Dane? I don't know. He's a powerful dude. He is. Ethan Glover has been slain by Arthur Dane. Um, Martin Castle has been slain by Arthur Dane. And then... Arumba sent me something as well. Lord Paramount entered. The realm was in a state of war. As such, I, as your liege king, command that you provide men to support my army's regards. Um, well, to be in character, yes, to defend my liege. What happened? Why duty. are you at war? Why did everything just break apart suddenly? Okay, so here's what happened. So we we just ended the war. I usurped the Iron Throne. Correct. And then I said, I was. remember we were going through, like, wait, what do we do with these people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I executed a couple people. And then I also was going to throw the King of Dorne down mm. to the very south of Westeros into prison. And he has just replied to me. He said, Robert Baratheon, I find your judgment harsh. And as such, my bannerman and I no longer acknowledge your dominion over Dorne. This is a declaration Whoa. of war. Now, you guys all received an automatic call to arms basically saying, okay, are you going to support the Iron Throne? Or are you going to try to support Dorne's independence? Hint, don't support Dorne's independence. <laughs> you will get in trouble. So, so um, why did that, why is the reach separate and everything? Are they just haven't made their decision yet? And once they make their decision, they either back under you or not. Or every time one of these mega wars gets declared, yep. each person kind of you become your own entity, and right. so it, it allows for um, it allows for kings to not participate in their lieges wars. Mm. But that pisses me pisses my character off. So like if you refuse the call, I'm gonna get less opinion of you, and I also will possibly have rights to revoke your stuff. Oh really? And, uh, maybe it's possible. <laughs> Historically, in the game or in the book, we're uh, you and I are not supposed to be friends. Right. But uh, we could change that. We could, you know, right. switch it up. Made my decision. All right. So, are you ready? I'll unpause when you're ready. The craven Tywin Lannister has failed to answer my call to arms, preferring I... to sit beside, behind his castle walls. <laughs> okay. I just didn't decide. I said I will not concern myself with this for now. <laughs> I never even got the option to come back under your Iron Throne, so as far as I'm concerned, I'm still a dependent. All right, I'm going to declare the uh, those guys into, as uh, enemies of the realm. The Rayla and uh, Viserys was born. Apparently okay. he's nine. <clears throat> All right, I have a quick question. How does marriage work? Because I can't find a damn woman at all. Uh, the guards drag Illyn Payne up from his cell and throw him at your feet. I've come for justice, he says. By right of birth and blood, I demand trial by combat. Wow, you should do it. This is the guy who tried to prove that somebody wasn't the actual father. You have oh, that yeah. right. I will select someone to stand up, for, uh, stand for his Lord Paramount. I'll handle this myself. Not. Or, no, should... I can't afford to lose him, return the prisoner to his cells. You should select uh, Tyrion. Tyrion, yeah, I'm going to put Tyrion in front of him. You have that right? I will select somebody. He's wily, man. I wanted to select hmm. my son. Ooh. Benedict of the Westerlands, this man, or this man. So there is a little bit of, uh, of civil unrest up here. I have a question, Arumba. King's Course is a, a single province in the north that has rebelled against you, but I'm not hostile to them because they're like in my realm, but they're on the enemy side of the screen? Huh. Oh wait, sorry, they're on our side, my mistake, disregard. Well, my, my the person I appointed as my champion died. Well, maybe you should it's have taken much... Tyrion. God, there's so, I have to appoint all these King's Guardsmen, it's... it's... No, I'm not gonna put Jamie back on the Iron Throne. He was the Lord of Castlery Rock. Castlery Rock. He died. Fucker. Mm. And then he just and the prisoner gets up and he just walks out. He kills him, and then gets up, throws his sword on the ground, and walks out the door. <laughs> what a dick. Yeah. Um. But anyway, marriage. Why is there no women available for me to choose? Um. Not sure. It might just be because of the uh, the fact that the realm was in a state of war. Uh, well, I, I'll bring up arranged betrothal or arranged marriage, and there's just no women at all. Hmm. You have minus 50% hmm. fertility, wow. Yeah, yeah. You do? 
Cause uh, yeah, because I'm widowed. Oh, that's why you can't get um, you cannot get married until you lose the widowed trait. Well, I'm, I'm looking to arrange a betrothal for my son, and the same thing's happening. That's because he's a king's guardsman, oh. or he was. I'm not sure. Um, he can't get married when he's in the king's guard. I just fired him from the king's guard, so maybe it'll <laughs> change soon. That Aruba, was a very do nice. You have, um, do you have the war under control? Do you need me to come? You don't need to come down. All no. right, cool. This is just he's the only one that rebelled. He shouldn't have rebelled. We should have just captured him. Hey, I just impregnated your sister. Yeah, also my wife got pregnant at the same time, so we're, like, seriously on the same <laughs> wavelength. What exactly uh, was it? No, no, we're not going to go there. <laughs> it wasn't that guy. Okay. God, people keep dying. I don't care about the King's Guard. Bring me the uh, sons of the, the greatest knights of the realm. Mm. Oh, okay, fantastic. Establish a Any household guard. Maybe. Anyone but Jamie. Hmm. I'm just gonna search for women and do it that way. I think that'll work. Can you uh, explain to me what's going on with this? Uh, there's a, an event. Try to employ the Golden Company. Okay, so the Golden Company is like a mercenary army across the narrow sea. They're okay. over on Essos. They cost a lot of money, and you could try to hire them, but what do you? You don't really need them right now. Right, I was just curious. It said they cost 900 dragons to fire. I don't even understand. Dragons are a unit uh, of currency? Yes, it's gold. Ducats. Okay. Oh. Not actual dragon. 500 dragons would be a lot of gold. Or a lot, oh. of, a lot of dragons. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Man, um, ransom all prisoners is a pretty sweet uh, decision as well. Okay, so Lord Gilbert of Faring Cross is, is asking me to give him King's Landing. <laughs> like your capital. Yeah. He's just like, yeah, it's, you totally hold land that should be mine. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the capital <laughs> of the Iron Throne. <laughs> so I just said no. That makes sense, I think. Oh, it's complicated. There's a lot going on. Hmm. I want to, like, play in character. And I think Eddard Stark slash Sean Bean is the kind of guy who just wants peace in the realm. But by the same token, I also have that, like, CK2 manifest destiny kind of thing going on. Mm -hmm. So I kind of want to just, like, expand, but I feel <laughs> bad about it. So that's an achievement of this mod, I would say. Why is King's Course, like, completely independent from you in your in the north? Uh, that's a very good question. I only hold one county, so I think maybe they responded differently to Arumba's request. But mm -hmm. I don't know. Something about your relationship with them. They don't. They just decided not to honor it. Okay. Lord Jory of King's Course. I like him. He's got a really powerful jaw. You should take a look Jory at Jory Castle is yep. the... Uh, he is in the books and in the, in the TV series. He is your master at arms. Oh, okay. He's the one that trains Rob and uh, the bastard Jon Snow how to fight. Okay. I think... If I, if I get any of this wrong, let me know. I'm just... That's what <laughs> I think I remember. It's been a while since I watched season one. And what, as of today, isn't season four live? Season four should be available, yeah. If you, uh, you know, subscribe to HBO and then also legally procure HBO Go, of course. I'm going to call somebody yeah. to justice. That's an option I have. Mm. Of course, don't watch season four, episode one. Just watch us play this game. Exactly. You know? It's basically the same. We'll be there pretty soon. It's even better, actually. Because <laughs> we sound cool. I think so. Better writing on our show. Mm-hmm. Although we don't have Dan Danny Targaryen taking her top off, mm, that's you know true. I heard I heard in season one. You remember she's topless in season one, but in season like four or five, there's another scene she's supposed to do that, and she's not going to do it anymore. Really? That's what I heard. Yeah. I have a son named Prince Gowen. Should I name him something else? I'm oh, I name him after you. We had the same <laughs> like birth. Um, I uh, I, I named, named him after you, my oh, brother. That's very sweet. I named my son Bastard. No, oh, I named it myself after myself. Apparently. <laughs> oh my god. I I, I meant to really mad when I and you I think you know some people. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I lost 100 prestige and I gained the stress trait because at court he was proven innocent and there was no questioning it. Nice. Am I, am I correct in assuming that I probably shouldn't, uh, you know, try to take over the north or sorry, not the north, but the things beyond the wall? I don't know. I think you could try it, but... Like, there will be werewolves, right? Yes. Something um, over there. White walkers. Okay. I don't know that you can actually get past the wall, can you? 
I don't know. I haven't tried. I don't. I, I mean, you can't. You cannot attack the Night's Watch. I okay. I could offer them vassalization, but they said no. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to vassalize the Night's Watch. Yeah. That's funny. Why not? I don't know. It just seems strange. How's, how's your war going? Winning, presumably. Yeah, I'm just assaulting down random stuff. I'm gonna get this this uh, Prince of Dorne, throw him in prison. Yeah. Doran of Martell. Prince Doran. People now, isn't Prince. No, oh, go ahead. Isn't Prince Doran the uh, the guy who can't walk because he's so fat and old? I can't remember. He's got and uh, he's got what's called gout. Isn't he that guy? All I know about Prince Duran is that he and his brother started up one of the best bands of the 80s. <laughs> All right, guys. Winter is coming. Winter is coming, yep. yeah. That's that's what you have to say, and you're supposed to hold a sword, and you'd be on the front page of every Reddit post. I'm holding the sword right now. <laughs> I gestures to his genitals. Um, nice. Yeah. That's in character. Mm-hmm. So I had a, a unique ambition as well. I appreciate that there's kind of like hard-coded ambitions for each character to keep them in, in line. Like my ambition was just to have five children. Sure. There you go. Gives me something to do for the next little while. I'm a, I am decided to drill my peasants and teach them to fight. Hmm. It gives me 50% more uh, levy. Cool. Now are you, um, am I the only one that gets nervous when I see the dangerous factions icon? Yeah. Uh, I only had it happen once and I jumped for a minute. I was like, wait, what? But <laughs> they're all loyal got... to me, so it's all good. Yeah, but it just makes me nervous. And you can't disable it, because what if it's what if it's an actual bad guy? Exactly. Yeah, yeah I agree with you. Alright. I'm dishonorably fabricating a claim on the veil. On the Seven veil? surely frowns yeah. upon it, but my friends try to lure me into hedonism by showing me the pleasures of life. Now, Lady Cat, Catelyn, she is the daughter of um of Lord Paramount Hoster of the Riverlands. Yes. So your kids are are in line to inherit the Riverlands. Ah, okay. Which is, you know, it's pretty big. You're you're not wrong, yeah. So I should just start murdering his natural born children. Well, <laughs> that might cause some problems between you and your wife. Mm, <laughs> but far be it from me to give you <laughs> marital advice. I just like to sleep with hookers. I mean, <laughs> I am Robert Baratheon. Who's the leader of the Riverlands right now? Lord Paramount Hoster. H O S. Yeah. I'm trying to find him. Why? I'm because he to sent me something before. Oh, okay. No, I don't see her. Him. It makes sense. I mean, you do border uh, him. Apparently, I have a bastard daughter named Maya Stone, who I am not educating. Too bad it wasn't Emma. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't see him. I don't see him at all. I don't know why. Really? Just click on the, like, capital holding of the Riverlands. Well, the Riverlands are... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wait, no. This is not what I was thinking. Oh, well. Mathis. No, I thought it was something else. Relax, relax. <laughs> what are you working on? I don't trust you. I'm not doing anything. I'm just being Lord Paramount Tywin Lannister right now. Okay, so you know you can click in the decisions menu, show me, uh, show owners of Valyrian blades. Yeah, yes. yep, yep. Um, so I need to rebrand mine apparently because I have one, but it's not, it's not a family heirloom. Mm. Lord Jaor Mormont oh, wields Longclaw. That's actually the weapon that I think uh, Jon Snow ends up with. Longclaw. Spoilers, please. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just joking. I, it's a it's a Valyrian sword. I mean, uh, how what did I spoil? <laughs> it's val, val, the name of the sword. You spoil it. Oh no! I'm dealing with that in in <laughs> Dark Souls Two right now. If I like accidentally tweet like. Man, I'm having a lot of trouble with this area. Like, I'm having oh, yeah. a lot of trouble with the forest. People were like, uh, could you, like, not spoil Dark Souls 2? I'm gonna have to unfollow you now I know that there's a forest in the game. <laughs> Should I put more points into strength or dexterity? Uh, spoilers? I didn't know strength and dexterity were attributes <laughs> in Dark Souls 2. I don't want to know which one is min-max better. Jeez. Yeah. How can you not know that? Like, didn't, didn't you do your homework? Exactly. Yep, I mean... Yeah, whatever. Whatever. <sighs> Man, this war is still going. Maybe I should yeah. join your side. I was going to say, just finish it off so we can do something else. 
Well, it's eighty-six percent. I'm trying. Here, I'll I'll mix things up. I'm gonna request a coronation. Hmm. To the most devout and serene King Robert, in the name of the sep of the seven eyes, High Septon, would like to offer you my blessing and allow you your coronation. Yeah. So there we go. I've I've got a I've got a new crown. Fancy. Pretty nice. It is. I'm just waiting on sieges. The guy looks like Seth Rogen. My like guy? If, if you could just change him into brown hair, that would be Seth Rogen right there. Well, I would, but Mathis doesn't have the <laughs> face, the beard, the beard changing DLC. Mm. This is the former name, formal name for it. Mm. Uh, no feast is complete without boar meat. Send out Marshall Tiget, send out my son. I like I'll how uh, Eddard Stark has no intrigue skill at all. He's just too, he's too honest. That's his problem. Hmm. Can't go on a grand hunt because I'm not at peace, Arumba. It's Which it's Rajas of India all over again. I can't go on any damn tiger hunts, man. Hey. Whoa. Uh, the king on the Iron Throne. In the name of the father of the father of the first king, Robert of the House Baratheon, promised pledge to guarantee the sight of seven. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I and so far. As I am supported by divine assistance according to my belief today, King Robert crowned by his holiness the high septon and formally received title King of the Andels, the Royner, and the First Man Lord. Oh my god, what what happened? Just tell me what happened. There's way too much going in there. He's the king now. What? He the was blacksmith has dishonored the contract stolen my sword. Aruma, end your war, man. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I was trying to reforge my sword. It's okay. The congratulations. Okay. The war has been won, the rebel armies have been crushed. Should I let him bend the knee, or yes. shall I make him forfeit Dorn? Forfeit Dorn. <laughs> this will anger his... Yeah, um, I demand his head as well as all Molotel lands. Yeah. <laughs> that seems reasonable. Castamir has raised its flags in rebellion, all 420 men. Okay, Boy, nice. I'm over my domain limit now. Okay. All right, and uh, hold on. So I need to... There's some something wrong happened. Like, the guy stole my, my sword. Okay. Something wrong happened. Yeah, he stole my sword. <laughs> I don't even know how to find him. <laughs> Some He's guy. gone, man. The blacksmith, instead of reforging that Valyrian sword that I won in combat, he uh, he's a jerk. He's <laughs> <Okay. laughs> a jerk. Hmm. This one county in King's Course is really bothering me right now. Hmm. We must select a warden of the east. That could be me. Northeast, I don't care. God, there's different? so many pop-ups. Can we can we pause? <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, okay, I gotta pause. There's just so much. All right, when the guests arrive, my rent. Okay, yes, you make him gregarious. The guards drag Barristan Hasty up from his cell and show him to your feet. I've come for justice, he says. By right of birth and blood, I demand trial by combat. Oh, you should do yep. it. Yep, I did that. Okay, um, Bonifer Hasty will be my champion. Mm. So he's not going to fight. He's going to have someone else fight. Um, do I want to handle this myself? Yes. I'm not wounded. You have 30 marshal. marshal. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm Robert Bray. I'm going to die. Watch, I'm going to die. <laughs> All right, I'll handle this myself. And then to whom should the duty fall to make uh, Warden of the East? Mathis. Sorry, what? What do you want me to do? You should make Mathis the Warden of the East. Well, he's in the West. Yeah, so what? That's really <laughs> that's how you unite it. All to the Lord of the Vale? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll just do the Lord of the Vale, mm. naturally. Okay, do you want to, okay. I still need to get rid of some territory, but let's see what happens with the trial, com trial by combat. You and Sir Bonifer the Good slowly circle each other, tense and focused. You scan him for any sign of weakness, any opening in his defense that you could possibly exploit. You see a weak spot, a vulnerability. It's not much, but it's all you need. And he is dead. <laughs> <laughs> That was well Zavar done. Zavar Morgulis. Victory is mine. Congratulations, Arumba. Yep, so I'm not dead. That's good. Yeah, I'm very proud of you. Okay, and now I get a pop-up that says, You watch with glee as King uh, Robert drives his sword relentlessly into his champion. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm watching myself with glee. <laughs> um, now what should we do with the guy who actually... Uh, we'll send you're, him to the wall. Yeah, you're the king. You decide, man. Um, okay. Alright, I'm good to go now. 
Who is this? Lancel Lannister, my nephew. Lancel. Lancel, he's like the uh, the clone of Jamie. Hmm. All right. Well, that was the that was the uh, the bell. I it think it was indeed another a good another good way to end it. Actually, perfectly timed. Um. Oh whoa, wait, whoa! All right, pausing it. I got three pop ups here. Hey, uh, Mathis, you're. I know. I I took it in, but okay. Uh, let me go through these pop ups and then we'll wrap it up. How's that sound? All right, sure. What do, what do you got going on? Uh, let's see. The guards drag Kevin Lannister up from his cell and throw him at your feet. I've come for justice, he says, by birthright and blood, and he wants trial oh, by combat as well. Here we go. Uh, this is my. Who is this? This is my brother who was plotting against me, so I. Cap, he, I tried to put him in prison. He raised up his rebellion, and then I crushed him. Um, so I can either say I'll handle this myself, I'll fight him myself, or I'll ha I'll pick a champion. Should I fight my brother myself, brother versus brother? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely sure. sounds like a good idea. Yeah, yep. I'm sure this will go well. I'm sure I'm going to die. Uh, Lord, dear Lord Paramount, I hereby invite you to the wedding of Lord Edmure. Oh my! Oh right, I'm marrying off Cersei. Okay, sounds good. To who? Um, somebody. I'm not telling you. <laughs> I'll find out. <laughs> I mean, uh, let's see. And then this one. Oh, I. Oh, I fabricated claims. Oh, but now they're under the Iron Throne. What are you so doing, you're... man? Uh, Get some momentum here. I see. You're going for the Riverlands. Okay. You're trying this... to wed your way into the Riverlands with uh, Edmure. <sighs> All right. The and then, and then, uh, and then I fabricated claims on another land, but now they're part of the Iron Throne. So you're gonna get pissed at me, apparently. Hmm. It's not the Blackfish, is it, Cal? It's uh, all right. it can't be the blackfish. We're gonna wrap this episode up here. I'm done. That was my three pop ups. <laughs> okay. Thank you all for watching. It's been a little <laughs> bit hectic. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Another good area to wrap it up as the Iron Throne is once again restored, and we'll be picking it back up tomorrow. So make sure you come back tomorrow. And if you haven't already, make sure there you go is. check out all the different viewpoints from all the different players. Until then, I'll see you later. Later. See you soon.